हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव स्टार्टेड ए सीरीज ऑफ पाइपलाइन हाइड्रो टेस्ट द फर्स्ट वीडियो वॉज अबाउट द हाइड्रो टेस्ट ओवर व्यू द प्रोसेस द बेसिक कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ हाइड्रो टेस्ट वॉट वी शुड नीड टू नो टूडे इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ हाइड्रो टेस्ट वाटर वॉट टाइप ऑफ वाटर वी नीड ड्यूरिंग हाइड्रो टेस्ट एंड वॉट आर द वाटर क्वालिटी स्पेसिफिकेशन I will give you some example. This requirement might be different in different countries, but this will give you an idea that what type of tests basically required. Some useful information about hydro test water selection. The introduction of hydro test water should be scheduled as close as possible to the equipment and or system startup date. Partial or complete refilling of the system shall count as continuous cumulative time. when equipment contact time with hydro test water exceed 14 days for carbon steel and low alloys and for 4 days for austenitic stainless steel systems dissolved oxygen concentration shall be maintained as 20 parts per billion in short it is ppb or less by maintaining residual oxygen scavenger concentration at 20 parts per million ppm or greater approved oxygen scavenger shall be used for dry gas and refined hydrocarbon product pipelines an oxygen scavenger shall always be added to the hydro test water even when hydrostatic test water contact time is less than 14 days for testing austenitic stainless steels chloride concentration shall be maintained less than 50 ppm sea water and high tds aquifer water shall not be used for testing austenitic stainless steel system water containing hydrogen sulfide shall not be used for hydrostatic testing or subsequent wet layup without prior approval the use of sea water or high salt hydrostatic test water in facilities under the responsibility of pipelines department shall be pre approved in writing i told you i am giving you examples or standards from some specific area this might be quite different based on the country requirement or local standard or international standard being adopted for the project the quality of water shall be reconfirmed by sample testing at a minimum of 2 weeks before the initial water filling in preparation for the hydrostatic testing in case of multiple water sources or tanker trucks are used to supply water representative water samples shall be drawn for testing from each source or tanker if the water used in the hydrostatic test or wet layup process is from more than one source ensure that the mixing of water will not cause scaling water may be reused for hydrostatic testing as in a pipeline or piping test segment by segment the water shall have an oxygen level of less than 20 ppb and srv means sulfate reduced bacteria count or srv count less than equal to 1000 cells per milli or additional chemical treatment shall be required to meet all the requirements water used for hydrostatic testing of carbon steel shall not be reused for stainless steel under any circumstance due to ferrite contamination any treatment chemicals shall be continuously injected at a rate that will provide the specific concentration while filling the system with water in preparation for the hydrostatic test the chemical injection rates shall be monitored on site using displacement gauges when multiple treating chemicals are required ensure that the chemical proposed for used are compatible with one another separate proportioning pumps shall be used for each chemical to avoid adverse reactions chemical shall not be mixed prior to injection multi component products as provided by chemical vendors are exempt from the pre mixing requirement preparation of hydro test water treatment or oxygen scavenger 
what a testing criteria let us discuss again the limits of the component present in the water sulfate reducing bacteria or srb count should be less than 1000 cells per milliliter when the equipment contact time with water may exceed 30 days use biocides as required total suspended solid is tss and total dissolved solid is tds total suspended solids or tss filters all particle greater than 53 mu m or 2.1 mil dissolved oxygen and residual oxygen scavenger less than 20 ppb dissolved oxygen and greater than 20 ppm residual oxygen scavenger when the equipment contact time with water exceeds 14 days for carbon steel and low alloys and 4 days for austenitic stainless steel always add oxygen scavenger for dry gas and refined hydrocarbon product pipeline chloride concentration less than 50 ppm for austenitic stainless steel and pH value should be greater than 5.5. Water can be reused for hydrostatic testing of similar material categories as in transferring water from a pipeline segment to another or from a tank to another. The water shall meet water quality requirements and shall be chemically treated to meet all the requirements. For pipelines and piping hydrostat hydrostatic test water shall be treated with oxygen scavenger when the hydrostatic test water contact time is more than 14 days. If water contact time is over 30 days, need to add biocide chemical to stop development of SRB. Use the following notes for interpretation and disposition of results. Suspended matter visible in water shall be extracted before use by a filter capable of removing 99% of particle which is 2.1 mil in diameter and larger or equivalent note 2 requirements of ph value above 6.0 for water chemistry is no longer applicable note 3 higher bacteria srb count than 10 cube per milli may be accepted by technical team from client after treatment with biocide and retesting note 4 chloride ion content or concentration of chlorine is checked closely for water chemistry use for stainless steel equipment chloride content for 300 series ss system does not exceed 50 ppm or mg per liter chloride ion content up to 250 ppm or milligram per liter may be permitted only if consulting service department or technical team from the client gives written approval note 5 high tds 500 plus ppm aquifer water or sea water shall not be used for stainless steel equipment no other tds requirement exists for water chemistry used in pressure testing however suspended matter or tss value must be made service water containing hydrogen sulfide levels that if released to atmosphere result in air concentration of 10 ppm hydrogen sulfide or greater in the immediate area of hydro test must not be used it is advised to use rapid check method at the site it is fast and field friendly method of measurement the cost of rapid check test kit is on the order of almost $10 per test supplied as a 10 test kit. This is an advice and there might be another types of kit available in your area. You can use that. Here is an example of uh, water analysis result. See how it appears at the top the information of the water. Type of water is hydro test water, batch number if it is applicable, purchase order and then water source is very important project name is important this must be written at the top then in the result part we need to write appearance which is total dissolved solid or tss which will reflect the tss or tds chloride content per milligram per liter also mentioned here tds value ph value and the method they adopted as per the third party water testing laboratory uh, procedure they mentioned that and at the last continuous observation of seven days for sulfate reducing bacteria initially it is observed that the quantity is less than 75 and 
in the consecutive day also no aggressive growth has been observed so that's all for the water analysis test report this is in generally for the pipeline where the water stays longer in the pipeline hope you refreshed your knowledge and if this video helps you to learn something please please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends and known thanks a lot signing off showman